President-elect Joe Biden received a briefing from his newly named Coronavirus Advisory Board. And then he addressed the news, Pfizer's COVID vaccine has been successful and is on pace for approval this year. It's clear that this vaccine, even if approved, will not be widely available for many months yet to come. Mr. Biden called for Americans to unite following the contentious election in the name of public health. It doesn't matter your party, your point of view. We can save tens of thousands of lives if everyone would just wear a mask for the next few months. CBS News has learned the Biden administration will have a series of executive orders ready to sign on day one. The orders are expected to rescind a travel ban on several Muslim-majority countries, reinstate the DACA program, and rejoin the World Health Organization and Paris Climate Agreement. However, the government agency that helps start the formal transition process has yet to sign the letter needed to provide office space and funding. GSA Administrator Emily Murphy, a President Trump appointee, says the election has not yet been decided. President Trump is currently not planning to concede the race. He is mounting challenges in the courts and the court of public opinion. CBS News has confirmed the Trump campaign plans to file more lawsuits and they're encouraging supporters to hold rallies. They've been losing every case that has been brought post-election the Trump campaign has. Mm -hmm. And so it does appear it might be more of a PR stunt than it is an actual cohesive legal theory. President Trump still has more than two months as commander in chief and he's not done changing up his senior staff. Monday afternoon he announced on Twitter he has fired Mark Esper the Secretary of Defense. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.